అందరికీ నమస్కారం ఎస్బీఐ టాక్స్ ఛానల్ స్వాగతం గతంలో అవిభవ్ శర్మ గారి వీడియోస్ కొన్ని ఉన్నాయి వారు మోడలేస్లో ఫీక్స్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ పనిచేస్తున్నారు వారు ఐఐటి జేఈలో ఆల్ ఇండియా ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ ఫీక్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వైజ్ ఓవరాల్గా వన్ సిక్స్టీ టూ ర్యాంకర్ వారికి ఫిజిక్స్తో పాటు ఫిలాసఫీ భగవద్గీత ఉపనిషత్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా చాలా ఇష్టం చాలా ఆడుతూ పాడుతూ చదివి మంచి అందరు కోరుకున్న అందరి యొక్క డ్రీమ్ ర్యాంక్ అనేటువంటి ర్యాంక్ సాధించాడు హెచ్ఎఫ్టీలో పనిచేశాడు చాలా హైలీ పేయింగ్ జాబ్లో నాకు టీచింగ్లో ఇంట్రెస్ట్ తోటి పనిచేస్తున్నారు వారిని అడిగి యాక్చువల్గా మనము అసలు ఫిజిక్స్లో వన్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ అవుట్ వన్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ అయినాయి కాబట్టి ఫిజిక్స్ వారు ఎట్లా చదివారు ఎట్లా చదవాలి కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ చేసుకోవాలి సో ఇవన్నీ విషయాలు తెలుసుకుంది స్టూడెంట్స్ పేరెంట్స్కు చాలా చాలా ప్రయత్నకరంగా ఉంది అందరు కూడా వీడియో నుంచి ఎవరో చూడండి మీ మిత్రులకు కూడా షేర్ చేయండి నమస్తే సార్ నమస్తే సార్ థ్యాంక్ సో మచ్ సార్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఫర్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ ఫిజిక్స్ వాజ్ వెరీ టఫెస్ట్ అండ్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఆల్సో ఐ డోంట్ నో పీపుల్స్ పర్సెప్షన్ ఓకే ఓకే సో యూ గాట్ వన్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ వెరీ రేర్లీ యాక్చువల్ వెరీ సెన్ పర్సెంట్ గెటింగ్ అడ్వాన్స్ వెరీ రేర్లీ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఐ థింక్ అండ్ హౌ యూ యూస్ టు స్టడీ ఫిజిక్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ వాట్ వాజ్ యువర్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఇన్ ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ టూ అండ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ సో స్కూల్ ఆల్సో సార్ ఐ నెవర్ యూస్ టు స్టడీ ఫిజిక్స్ అగైన్ టువర్డ్స్ టు గెట్ మార్క్స్ ఆర్ టు ఐ వాంట్ టు స్కోర్ దిస్ హై ఆర్ ఐ వాంట్ టు గెట్ దిస్ ర్యాంక్ దట్ వాజ్ నెవర్ మై మోటివేషన్ ఐ యూస్ టు ఎంజాయ్ ఫిజిక్స్ బికాస్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఇస్ ఐ ఐ ఫీల్ దట్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఇస్ ద ట్రూత్ టెల్ ఇస్ ద ట్రూత్ అబౌట్ ద మటీరియల్ వర్ల్డ్ అండ్ ఆ ఫిజిక్స్ ఇస్ ట్రైంగ్ టు టెల్ డీ కోడ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ మటీరియలిస్టికలీ అవుట్ దేర్ ఫిజికల్ వర్ల్డ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద స్టడీ ఆఫ్ ఫిజికల్ వర్ల్డ్ ఫిజిక్స్ మటీరియలిస్టిక్ వర్ల్డ్ మటీరియలిస్టిక్ వర్ల్డ్ సో వాట్ బెటర్ వే టు నో అబౌట్ ద వర్ల్డ్ దెన్ టు స్టడీ ద ప్రాపర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ బికాస్ ఇట్ విల్ ఇట్ విల్ టెల్ దట్ దట్ రెయిన్బో దట్ యూ సీ ఇన్ ద స్కై దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అ మ్యాజిక్ హ్యాపనింగ్ ఇన్ ద స్కై దట్ పీపుల్ యూస్ టు బిలీవ్ థౌజండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇయర్స్ అబో దట్ ఈస్ దెర్ ఇస్ యాక్చువల్ ఫిజికల్ ఫినామిన బిహైండ్ దట్ ప్రాపర్ లైట్ రేస్ Uh, moisture everything is com- cul- culminating into that uh, mm-hmm. rainbow mm-hmm. so don't f- uh, physics trying mm-hmm. physics tries to tell you the re- real reality about the world mm-hmm. the f- reality about the, the physics truth of the materialistic world the truth about, about it the speaks phys- about the matter about the matter truth of the matter mm-hmm. yes so i used to study physics with that bent of mind only mm-hmm. i want to know what is how is the rainbow formed how, why why does this r- rainfall happens what is this what is that physics is the best uh, subject to tell you about that that was the in uh, motivation behind st- studying physics uh, how to study physics again i would never focus on uh, i want to study physics so that i can solve this question if you understand the concept very well in great depth in great detail question solving question is will become very easy you, you will feel the question is difficult when you do not understand the concept and you do not understand the concept when you are not focusing on the concept but you are focusing on just the formula okay this is the formula i will memorize this and i will quickly apply the formula to get the answer no you should understand what is going on actually in the physical world in that concept and then everything will flow naturally so that was that used to be my intention also while studying physics i want to understand this concept and then questions i will get in school you were having very good science teachers in uh, indore sir my teachers were good Mm-hmm. what what has been my you have studied uh, top class school uh? sir mm-hmm. uh, normal school only not the top class not, not even the best school of my local area also mm-hmm. it was it was average school mm-hmm. decent school mm-hmm. so uh, what my approach always has been that whatever the teacher has to offer i will absorb everything from him or her mm-hmm. if he is the teacher of highest he caliber top iitian he may not like be the that. top iitian but whatever he has to offer towards mm-hmm. knowledge mm-hmm. i will absorb everything i tell this to my students also in the class he may not be the best teacher of the indore also he may not be never never mm. but whatever he has to give to me in terms of knowledge i will take it fully mm. i will not leave even 1%, 1%. <laughs> i am very greedy about knowledge so uh, mm. i tell this to students also in my class that whenever i am talking i am teaching i used to do this sir when i i used to make notes in the class in whichever subject when even if the teacher is trying to tell me something about uh, like apart from the subject he is teaching me physics but he if he tells me something apart from physics something some about something about biology something about psychology of philosophy some incident personal incident from his life from which i can learn something i would write that also in my mm-hmm. notes mm-hmm. either at the back of the notebook some quote mm-hmm. he will mm-hmm. say and i love that quote mm-hmm. i will write that quote mm-hmm. because i want to absorb everything from mm-hmm. him or her only for physics teacher or from everybody from everyone from everyone whether oh. it is history teacher whether whatever ah. so my my you are equal interested in that uh, knowledge yes, yes, not yes. only physics not only physics you did not emphasize more on physics never never and even in physics i am not 
only interested to solve the physics problem. Mm. I want to understand physics. I want to understand history. Mm. I want to understand history of physics also. I'll, I'll tell you one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Ki if I'm if I'm studying Newton's laws of motion, mm. first I want to study who is Newton. Mm -hmm. How was he as a person? Uh -huh. Was he a good student? Was he a bad student? What okay. did he do? How did he come to be, being Newton? Uh -huh. So even in my classes also, mm. I begin the Newton's laws of motion first after. Telling what is who was Newton? Mm. He was a philosopher. He was uh, not not only a physicist. We think that he was a physicist who gave us gravity. He gave so many things. He was not he was not an exceptional student mm. in his childhood. He was an average student, but he was exceptional. Uh, his imagination was exceptional. Yeah, yeah. And he used to spend a lot of time I by mean, himself. Intuition, he was yes, a... amazing in intuition, amazing mm. imagination. So that is how I approach subjects also. If I am studying the Kelvin scale. The temperature, this this much Kelvin. Who is Kelvin? Mm. Tell me about Kelvin also. <laughs> because why should I only remember that that term? I should mm. know about that person also. No? Mm. That person gave us the Kelvin scale. I should know about that person also. That, that internet was also not that much popular at that time. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. So that has been my approach. No Wikipedia at that time, I think. No Wikipedia at that time. But mm. sir, usually that every mm. NCR, even uh, NCRT will contain that uh, some small information yeah, yeah, about yeah, scientists yeah. also. True, true. People ignore that. Yeah. Why, why are you ignoring? Read about Albert Einstein. Read about Newton, Isaac Newton. Read about Heisenberg. Sabke baare mein padho. Mm. Then you will uh, get to know okay, okay, these people also were human beings. How they, they were attitudes. How, how, where were they educated? How were, what was their approach about life, about mm -hmm. physics, about philosophy? That is how you will also shape your bent of mind. So that was my mm -hmm. that used to be my motivation towards mm -hmm. studies, uh, my bent of mind towards mm -hmm. studies always. So actually, and actually, physics means actually so they will tell the problems are more important. Uh -huh. the, the, so it's a popular uh, slow yes, yes, yes. perception there. Yes. So what? things we what are the important things we have to consider to learn fix properly uh -huh, sir sir actually the what has happened is because of this examination pressure and mm. mostly examination all the national level examinations even state level mm. mset bitsat uh, j mains j advance mm. they will mostly ask a lot of objective questions mm. with some options so because of all these things people are more driven towards getting the right answer solving the question only but they do not want to understand mm -hmm. if i give give them some subjective paper mm. right the philosophy of this, 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 right? The, what is the physics behind rotational mm. mechanics? Mm. They won't be able to write much, mm. but they can solve the question. So physics is not only about solving the problems, but also about understanding. It's both a things. It's a part of part of. It the is a part of solving that. So both things go hand in hand. You should understand the concept also very well, and you should know how to apply that concept into mathematical formulation also, and getting the right answer. Both things go hand in hand. So never focus only on one thing. I have met a lot of friends, a lot of like my, my family members, there are there who have done engineering, who have done like computer science. Uh, they also read physics, mm. maths, chemistry, everything. They could get good ranks also mm. in different examinations. But if I ask them, what is the meaning of this term? Mm. They won't the be able to tell. Essence of so that the thing. essence of this. Mm. You can tell me the formula that this is the formula. Mm. But why is this formula? What is the meaning of this formula? What is this meaning of this term? They don't mm. know that. Mm. So that is not how I recommend people to study anything. Mm. Understand the concept well first. Mm. Know some things, the, some basic things about the concept. What what is that concept trying to tell us in the actual universe? The holistic approach in understanding the subject. Understanding the subject. Uh. Then go for solving the problems. Mm. And when you have the holistic approach and understanding of the subject also, mm. the you solving questions will be much will easy. Be much easy. Mm. So that is, I think that is also why I could get uh, mm. such a high score in my exams also because I really understood the con the concepts from deep. Mm. So applying that concept to get the answer becomes then easier. So in JE exam, what is the role of the physics section? What is the importance of the physics in scoring point of view and subject point of view? Yeah. And any special strategy we have to follow to get good, good uh, yeah. marks? Uh, sir, as far as the marks distribution is concerned, physics, chemistry, maths, all are equally distributed. Mm. So weightage is similar as compared to physics and uh, as compared to chemistry and mathematics. But when it comes to the actual subject, uh, scoring in physics can be very, very high also. Most of the people are afraid of physics mm. because you have to learn the concept, you have to apply it. The uh, the concepts are usually not very straightforward. Mm. So understanding the concept, application part of the concept, not very straightforward. Mm. You cannot go into a national level examination just by memorizing the formulas and expect that you will get the answers. Mm. No, you have to understand also what how is this formula applied. This formula can be applied in different ways in different questions also. 
so uh, no never uh, do not just go after formulas and all that uh, i think every examination will focus equally on uh, understanding part as well as solving part mm -hmm. uh, so i think yes uh, whenever you are approaching physics in these examinations your approach should be i want to score good marks in physics because mm -hmm. physics is very high scoring physics mm -hmm. is high scoring if you understand the subject very well you, you are the witness na yeah 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 i have a lot of friends who sir even when i'm teaching a lot of students come to me and say that we find physics very interesting but it is hard for us to get marks in physics mm -hmm. as compared to chemistry because we can score marks quickly in chemistry because there is some theory less some by hatting area some by hatting you will you will learn things rarely you will get fine by hatting yeah, area yeah you can never get a repeated question in je mm. in mm. these national level examinations every question will be new mm. so you really have to understand the concept and if you really understand the concept it is my guarantee that you will score highest in physics mm -hmm. let alone chemistry and mathematics mm. physics is in that sense one of the highest scoring subject but if you do not understand the concept then it will become the lowest scoring subject also mm. so it is up to you whether you are honestly dedicatedly understanding the concept or you are just Uh, uh guessing or you are just you have just plain uh, vague rough idea about the concept and now you are trying to memorize the formula and applying the concept no that uh, mm -hmm. physics will not work that way if you really understand the concept well physics is the highest scoring subject what is the what is the role of intelligence in understanding the physics or scoring physics marks uh, sir iq is required physics mm -hmm. uh, but iq is required iq like is required definitely to understand anything in general mm -hmm. iq will be required but uh, i think uh, mm -hmm. the average iq is enough Mm -hmm. because physics concepts are never uh, it is they are never explained in such a way that they are very complex mm -hmm. i think i can remember albert einstein's quote that uh, physics tries to explain the universe in a very simple way but not in the simplest way mm -hmm. okay. you cannot go very too simple uh, uh, it will try to un mm -hmm. make you understand the universe in a simple way mm -hmm. and that much iq i think everyone has mm -hmm. uh, if you talk about the masses everyone has mm -hmm. the fair amount of iq mm -hmm. physics can be understood by an average iq mm -hmm. i feel if taught in the right way and if they are also really interested towards learning that subject so yes iq is important mm -hmm. but not the ultimate thing your efforts your uh, love for the subject will also come into play mm -hmm. sir and what is the best score to get a decent rank in je mains main and advanced uh in only physics or uh, Free only physics only physics sir physics mein to I, i i can tell that if the person is really working hard mm -hmm. he can even even target at least 80 to 90% marks in je mains and je advanced both and also 80 to 90% possible yes 80 to 90% marks are possible in physics subject mm -hmm. if he is really understanding the subject he is uh, applying the concepts well but even if he is because the syllabus is huge some people will have memory problem they won't be able to uh, understand and memorize so many concepts at one day only so still i i, I feel that getting 50 to 60% marks mm. in mains and 40 to 50 percent marks in advance is easy. Is easy. Is easy. Mm. I'm not saying it is tough. I'm saying it is no, not even it is moderate. Mm. It is easy. Mm. If you uh, are thorough with the subject, if you are thorough with the concepts, the formulas, basic formulas, mm. physics will not even offer you too many formulas. Also, mm. very few formulas are there to in the whole syllabus. Concepts are many, mm. so you have to understand the concepts a lot. But formulas are very few. Mm. If you do that honestly, uh, scoring in physics is good. and actually in school point of view up to 10th class students yeah. what are the most important chapters so which are very much helpful in the je syllabus or to in classical syllabus can you name few chapters yeah yeah sir so uh, starting from classical mechanics i, I think mm -hmm. um, the basic mechanics mm -hmm. basic uh, how does the universe work what is velocity what is acceleration mm -hmm. what is time mm -hmm. all these basic parameters they should have thorough understanding mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. then coming to optics i think till class 10 they will have basic understanding of optics also what is a light ray what are the basic concave mirrors convex mirrors mm -hmm. convex lens convex lens basic understanding of these things basic sound understanding of sound what is frequency what is wavelength of a sound wave all these things if they are thorough with the basic part mm -hmm. then eventually when they come into the uh, junior the so learning intermediate syllabus at the high school are not at all required not at all required never required the, the only thing is you should be very well versed and very well ac ac uh, accounted for the the concepts part mm. you should definitely know understand what is a wavelength mm. what is a frequency so concepts are more important in the high school yes yes uh, because no, suddenly no. they need not have that extensive part of the uh, school syllabus never never not required at mm. the till class 10th level mm. class 10th ke baad from class 10th to 11th the jump is usually huge mm. so if your conceptual understanding till class 10th was uh, good mm. that jump for you will be easy mm. but if you do not understand the basic concepts well 
then you would feel a bit uh, difficult to jump that take, take that high jump mm. so for uh, according to me i think the basic basic classical physics mm. uh, sound uh, light. kinematics light optics magnetism magnetism all these ba- basic what is a magnet what is a magnetic field basic things basic things That's these it. basic things if you are able to even define what is we, a magnetic we, field. we need not have that new, uh, high speed intermediate service in never order. never not required right. two, two years are enough for that and in the intermediate syllabus what are the core core concepts core core chapters uh after 10th or uh, after 10th after plus 10th. one plus two yeah plus one plus two so uh I, again i will go with the start with the classical physics the one of the most important me- is mechanics. mechanics then we go with thermodynamics then we have uh, sound waves and acoustics sound sound part then we have uh, in class 12th then we come to optics then we come to uh, electrostatics electromagnetism and then finally we go to modern physics the quantum physics part which is the last century mm-hmm. thing so these are the core subjects mechanics thermodynamics mm-hmm. optics uh, sound uh, op- uh, and then modern physics and electrodynamics all that so in the school what are the books we had to follow to get the concepts thoroughly sir i think uh, if if you are thorough with the reference book also your basic textbook in the ncert textbook will ncert be ncert textbook and one reference book Uh, H.C. Verma. It's any, it's any, any national level reference can, can book. Can you refer a few names? So, for example, H.C. Verma is quite famous among Concept the students. Concept of physics. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Then we have D.C. Pandey also. D.C. Pandey. D.C. Pandey. Yes, yes. Mm. That is also quite good. Mm. Uh, good collection of questions. Mm. And very crisp, uh, crispy book. Because every concept is written to the point. Key points mm. in, the fo- in the format of mm. key points. Huge explanation is not there. Mm. But key points are there. So, as a summary book, they can refer to this one. Book one, one, one book is sufficient. One book is sufficient. Textbook plus one is sufficient in school. Yes, yes. Textbook for the board and one reference book to uh, have one more source. Extensive knowledge. Uh, comprehensive. Uh, ho- holistic knowledge for that. Mm. Uh, sometimes I have felt when I, uh, when I read some topics from different books, I feel that NCRT has given the best ex- explanation. Oh. Yes. Not even the reference books. So, NCRT is a must. Your state book is a must. After that, you can add on with different books. Mostly, people will prefer either uh, H.C. Verma or D.C. Pandey. Yes. Yeah. Intermediate, what are the books we have to follow, sir? Other than this... Uh, Intermediate, academic. again, the state NCRT. books will be there. Mm. Uh, the state material will be there. Uh, follow, to stick to that. Mm. And, uh, sir, for in- intermediate also, I feel that you do not need to jump, take mm. a lot of uh, jumping from here, this book to their book. Mm. Again, stick to the textbooks only. Uh, one reference book, either... Uh, DC it's Pandey a, would be a bit too much for intermediate mm. but i think uh, sc verma will would be good yeah uh, this is a great one of the greatest professor na no? yeah he is uh, it kanpur professor he, still uh, he is alive na no? yeah yeah he is alive and he's, he has a youtube channel also so he is uh-huh. also teaching there also uh-huh. yes yes uh-huh. and he has been his book has been in publication since last 2025 20, years most best seller best seller mm. so that is there for a reason because mm. it is actually mm. a very good book mm. his way of explanation is very very simple and very crisp mm. so he can uh, students can always refer to his books to understand the concept in, in the basic way so yes they can for intermediate also they can uh, choose sc verma sc verma textbook and some coaching material some coaching material some any any proper material concise material mm. with some for question for questions mm. for questions yes thank you very much sir we had a great interview once thank again thank you so much sir dhanyawad bharat mata ki jai